Hi. Well, I've taken down the holiday decorations and I've taken off my New Year's party hat and I'm getting back to regular life. But you know what? I'm still so excited about helping you to make this the best year ever. In my previous videos, I talked about some tools to help you stay off what I like to call the big fat cycle. This is this cycle of New Year's weight panic and weight loss fantasy and guilt and shame and disillusionment and defeat. And I helped you figure out how regular physical activity is such a great replacement for that big fat cycle. Because there are so many amazing things that you can expect from regular exercise, like feeling better, being in a better mood, having enough energy to get through your day, getting sick less often, sleeping better, having better sex, and feeling better about yourself. But even if I totally convinced you that exercise is really the very best thing you could do for yourself this year, you might be experiencing some doubts as to whether or not you can actually pull it off. Look, I get it. I mean, before the holiday craziness and even before the holiday hangovers are fading, that negative, nasty little voice comes around and reminds you that you've tried this exercise thing. The voice says something like this. Well, we've been here before. You promised to start regular exercise and you bought the gym membership and the exercise bike and the karate uniform and the ab exercise thingy. And then what? You used the gym membership like twice. The, ho the karate uniform is in the kid's Halloween costume box. And you can't even give away that darn bike or ab exercise thingy. Why should this year be any different? I know. Most of us have tried many times and failed many times to become regular exercisers. And we're so tired and frustrated that we're not even sure where to start. But if it's okay with you, I'd like to build on some of the tools that I gave you last week and give you some new tools to help you make this year the year that you become a regular exerciser. In my 15 years as a certified fitness teacher and personal trainer, I've learned a thing or two about how to get people started in exercising and more importantly, how to keep them exercising. Probably one of the most important things I've learned is that exercise has got to be fun. Now, remember in the last video where I told you to make that fun inventory where you write down all kinds of different things that you find fun? Well, now we're going to use that inventory to help zero in on some kinds of exercise that you might really like. So let's use my fun inventory as an example to help me explain what I mean. So on my inventory sheet, it says that I like to be around a lot of other people. Uh, I like to go to parties. I like to dance. I like to host parties. I like to read and travel and watch movies and listen to music. So now I'm going to put on my detective hat and see how I can use that list of fun things to identify an exercise that I might really find fun. So first we can see that I'm pretty social and I like to be around other people. So any kind of exercise that has me being alone a lot probably isn't going to work that well for me. This is probably why I only competed in one marathon in my life. I mean, it was great. I loved getting the medal and I loved crossing the finish line. But the truth is the long hours of running and walking all by myself really weren't that much fun for me. So I found that it would be better for me to do some form of exercise that involves a group of people. Now, we can see that I not only like to be at parties, but I like to host parties. So maybe my exercise should be one where I'm sort of in charge of things. So in my case, I might do well to be an exercise trainer or a teacher. And maybe I should have a class that feels kind of like a party. I love to dance, so why not have an exercise class with some dancing in it? Now my inventory says I also like to read and travel and watch movies, so I should probably include some of that in my exercise too. 
Maybe I want to include dance moves that I've seen in movies from around the world. And maybe I should try different kinds of music from different cultures. And you know what? I've used this inventory to formulate an exercise plan for myself that includes all that stuff. And because it's so right for me, and because it's so much fun, I've been doing it for like 15 years. So I wanna encourage you to take some time and use your fun inventory to really hone in on what you might find fun in exercise. Now, once you've got the results of your inventory, another tool that you might wanna try is what I like to call exercise speed dating. Look, we've all had plenty of one week and even one night stands with exercise. What we're looking for is a long-term relationship with exercise. So with that in mind, maybe you don't wanna marry the first form of fitness that comes along. Why not go on a few dates first before you make a big exercise commitment? Go try going for a walk. Try to do a circuit at the gym or do a two week trial membership before you buy this big annual membership. Go look at a few martial arts or dance classes before you buy the uniform and the 20 class punch card. Just watch, see if it looks right for you. If it seems like so much fun you can hardly wait to get started, like if you can hardly wait for next week to come so you can do it again, all right, you found your exercise bliss. Now all we have to do is get you doing this exercise at the right level. One of the most common mistakes I see people make as they start to exercise is that they tend to do too much too fast. So then they wake up the next day and even if they're totally stoked about exercising again, they're so stiff and they're so sore, right? You've got that like Frankenstein thing where you can hardly bend your arms and legs. That's not cool. It, it hurts and it's gonna discourage you from doing more exercise. And if you ignore this pain and stiffness long enough, you're gonna find yourself one of the thousands of people waiting in the sports medicine doctor's waiting room in early February. Starting at the right level can really be a challenge for beginners, but I've got a great tool to offer you to help you find your exercise starting place. I like to call this exercise rock the block. Now, the concept is really simple, right? You grab a bottle of water, you put on some tennis shoes, you grab a fully charged cell phone and head out your front door. Now, you note down what time it is that you're starting on your cell phone, or if you're really fancy, you can like set your stopwatch on your phone, right? But you wanna note when you're starting. Now you go outside and you get on the sidewalk and you start to gently and slowly walk around the block. And as you're walking, you check in with your body and say, how do I feel? Do I feel good? Do I feel comfortable? Great. Now as you come back around to your house, you need to check in again. Are you still feeling great? Great. Then go and do another block. Are you feeling a little sore? Are you tired? Are you not at all sure that you can do another block? That's okay. That just means it's time to stop and you found your fitness starting place. You need to do as many or as few blocks as feel good for you. When you're done, write down the number of blocks that you walked and then the total amount of time you've been walking. That's your fitness starting place. Now look, you have to customize this in a way that works for you. I call it rock the block because I like the fact that it rhymes. But if you're one of those people that is pretty sure you can do 20 blocks and you're pretty sure that walking the same block 20 times is gonna drive you out of your mind, then make a bigger block, make your loop a little bigger. If you're not sure that you can do a whole block, that's okay. Just make your loop a little smaller. Maybe you can do a loop inside and you can rock the house, whatever. You can apply the same idea to dancing, cycling, chair boogie, rolling, swimming, whatever. The idea is that you do a little bit, check in with your body, see how you feel, and if you feel great, do a little bit more, and if you don't feel so great, stop, 
right? And that is how you determine your fitness starting place. I've used, I've used tools like these to help thousands of people not only get started, but stay exercising. But maybe you feel like you want a little extra help or support in your efforts. I'd like to tell you a little bit about a brand new program I've developed for people just like you. It's called Everybody Can Exercise. And it's a 12 week program filled with tools just like the ones I've given you here in these videos. If you would join this amazing 12 week program, then you'll get on the phone with me and other exercisers from all over the world. And we'll talk about exercise challenges and we'll work on you know, specific techniques that help keep you happy and safe and healthy and motivated to become a regular exerciser, not just for a week or a month or a year, but for the rest of your life. And speaking of motivation, since I know you, I'm going to give you a little anti-procrastination incentive. First of all, enrollment's going to end pretty soon. And once the classes start, enrollment ends, and you won't be able to join this session. You won't be able to join for another 12 weeks. And that's sad. So if you want to join us, you're going to have to get off the couch and get this done. Now, if you're an eager beaver and you sign up really soon for the early bird deadline, then you can get a special early bird price and a special bonus Kickstarter week so you can hit the ground running. I urge you to click that button underneath this video and read all about the amazing things I'm offering in this new program. For just a fraction of the price of what you would pay to join a gym or buy a piece of exercise gear, you can learn the techniques that you need to become a happy, healthy, lifelong exerciser. Whatever you choose to do, I want to wish you a happy and healthy new year full of all the light and all the energy that you need to live the life of your dreams in the body you have right now.